Okay. We have a place to be, don't we? Alright. Let's find the kid. I can imagine a place like this that's so... I don't know. Abandoned could be kind of dusty. Otherwise, I wonder how you're seeing footprints on metal grating like this, but... See things to pick up. Which way do we want to go? Oh, okay, I feel like I could go everywhere from here. How are these ships still floating? That one to the right of me here. Oh, okay. Red plays by the rules too much. He's not willing to jump that guardrail. What is keeping that ship there? You are not the kid I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to have to come back here. Oh, that's annoying. I, I thought I remembered something like that. If there are places like this, you would have to come back. I thought you were specifically that there is somewhere in... Unfortunately, I can't use a stun gun on the kid. Um, I thought there was some place here in Bassett that you had to come back to at a later point, but I can't remember what. I believe it's here. Zap the thing. Nah, I'm not allowed to zap those for some reason. These guys? I don't know if I can zap these guys. Yeah, well, they rest in a place I can't reach, anyways. Thank you. Not sure what kinds of noises we're finding down here, but sure. That's specifically that grass that inexplicably has sounds inside of it. Because the only two sound sources of sounds in this game, I believe, are gramophones and uh, that weird grass. Okay, I don't know if I can move that thing from here. Uh, in theory, I can. Although it might be a bit tough with the flying thing around here. Probably in a lot of people's minds right now that you probably are supposed to come back with this in hand with Dahawk at some point. But I'm also just kind of curious if you can actually pull those off. If it's actually possible to. Do whatever it is we were supposed to do with this thing. Close there. Is the idea actually that you can get up here normally? Are you supposed to get up here normally without the box? Is that what the box is for or not? I actually can't tell. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't tell if the box was supposed to be waiting it up here, because I was able to jump up there just fine. Is there anything else I can use a box for over here? Ah! Hold up. The box is still here. going all sunk cost on this. Yeah, I guess it was to get up there, but I don't think I needed it. I was able to jump up without the crate. Strange. Unless the idea was to bring the crate in here. No, I don't think I could jump high enough to do that. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't think I missed anything in any previous room. What could the kid possibly be doing over here at this point? No, it's zap it. So Twilight Games decides I'm sometimes allowed to zap stuff, sometimes not. Like, uh, I think it's room by room whether you're allowed to pull out the stun gun without any actual target. Some rooms I can, some rooms I can't. Ah, jeez. Okay. So I can swim around in here. I can use that from there. Huh. No, you yeah, have more stuff here, so you need the... Yeah, so you can't do anything with... without the hawk for that. It's annoying. Now, lots of stuff here you have to come back for later. Come on, you're not gonna let me dive in the water. Come on. I can go into that water just fine. Like that. Oh, nice. If you get them to to beach themselves, they die. Not anticipate that, but cool. Who am I fighting? I'm fighting that guy. Oh, I don't think there's anything else over here to see. Okay. What's your deal? Okay. Can I extend the walkway area just a little bit here so there wasn't an invisible wall? Oh, come on. I guess there's an invisible wall up here too. Looks like you can stand up here. Oh, your shield actually prevents them from being zapped. Okay, I'm starting to doubt whether the kid would really come this far. How? Why? Is there something they want in here? Oh, hello. Tricky thing is, lots of stuff won't start shining until you're right next to it, so... Or... ever. And give those dodging a bunch of crabs at this point. Just to get around. Ooh, hello. Can I go over here? No. Okay, well that's presumably the exit here. Can't get through here because I don't have that anything to break that screw with. Okay, I might not be able to do anything else in here right now. This is an unusual amount of stuff. I don't remember any time in this game where you have to backtrack for things though, but But here we are. Okay, this is a problem. Look at that guy, go! Jeez. I think that's everything we can do in here, but we'll have to come back. Yeah, I do like having a dungeon where you're just on foot. It's cool. It's a different experience.
Hey. What are you doing just standing out in the open, all dramatic-like here? <laughs> you sure accomplished that, jeez. What? Okay. The kid dodging the crabs and whatnot, doing the platform, I, I, I get. Me? I just did it. How in the world? How'd she get here? And why'd I have to go looking if you were gonna do it? Like, in all seriousness, I don't think she we're gaining anything by her also taking the risk of coming here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, chill out, Red. Guys, okay, come on. This wasn't supposed to be a... Okay, never mind. It's not who I thought that was. I mean, I unretract that statement now that I realize who it actually is. But anyways. Truth be told, I get a little tired of hearing that one voice clip over and over sometimes, but, uh, okay, cool, you're shirtless now, but you still don't have a robot. Yeah, I know I'm bald, don't worry. It happens. Nice familiar music. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Robot. I'll take it. I actually don't remember what the changes are precisely. I don't know if now's really the time, but uh, I don't remember this. What? Okay. Yeah. So the the gameplay actually gets more involved in the second half, as you can see here. I just don't know why it has to take this long, but oh well. This isn't the end of it either. You'll see. It's almost the end, but it's not the end of it. And now, oh, 
I will Oh, see, I wasn't trying to do that, but okay. Yeah, so now... Yeah, so hold, I think, any direction on the D-pad. It's kind of awkward, actually. But if you hold any direction on the D-pad, I think, when you throw something. Well, like, this you, like, super armor, too. You don't flinch. Yeah, so you have a... All of a sudden, you have more of a moveset than one attack. Like, finally. Also, you might notice that transprompt in the bottom corner, which the game has not decided to explain to me yet, but I'll take it. Interestingly, I lose those abilities on trance. There are more things you can do in trance, I believe, but... Yeah, this is a nice, um... Nice collection of enemies, get used to that. New control scheme on. But yeah, so now you have to be careful, though, when you throw things, because... Before, until now, you'd be used to holding a direction when you throw something to say, hey, throw it in this direction. Now I think you have to press the attack button to throw, and then afterwards press the direction while you're still winding up the throw, I think, is how it works now? I don't remember. Thank you for the warm-up. Yeah, it is nice having other things I can do now, though. Come on. There you go. Oh, heh. Hits more than once. That is a bit annoying. Although, um, do I, how long do I stay on the ground? I might have to... Yeah, no, not fast enough on that last one. Yeah, though, it's hard to hit her at first because she's moving around constantly. Shoot, I destroyed two of them. And then she stays in place for you to hit her. I think you need a bit more bitrate on your audio clips, you know. No, stop that. There you go. Actually not doing great health-wise here. Stay away from that thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're doing okay now. I think, gameplay-wise, this game's actually kind of weak up until the second half. Second half is where it finally gets interesting, because you have more... Oh, I couldn't jump quickly enough. It gets stuck for a long time after you throw something. But, um... The first half, the game is just too simple for my taste. It's the second half where you start getting more choices you can make. And... What are you doing? There are more choices you can make in gameplay, like you have a wider moveset. And you can make more choices outside of gameplay too, instead of just having three stats to choose from. Oh, stop that, you're supposed to not throw anything anymore. Come on. Oh, pfft. that's okay, it took a long time to pull that out. Terrible job dodging that last one. Okay. We're good. But, um, you, you have more stuff you can do outside of fights, too. Um, more customizability. You'll see a little bit of that in a, in a little bit, I think. I am slightly impressed. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, lots, as if you were out with us, but yes, agreed. I finished that little scene, I think it's about time to actually cut off this episode like we were supposed to a few minutes ago, so I'll see you next time in the lab.